all right so we were talking about ethanoic acid which is ch3 cooh we saw the esterification reaction in which ethanoic acid will react with ethanol to produce this okay so this is called an ester this is in general called an ester and this compound is called methyl ethanoate and it's a fruity smelling compound and okay ha huh, this reagent is h2so4 now if we take this methyl ethanoate and subject it to an acid or a base we get this acid and this alcohol back that means you react this ethanoic acid and ethanol to get this ester and this ester in the presence of acid or a base will give back the acid and the alcohol which it has been formed from and this reaction is known as saponification reaction because it is used in the preparation of soap so this esterification and saponification are just reverse of each other you react to a and b to get c and from c you get back a and b now so if you get a question like the compounds a and b reacted to give c which was a fruity smelling compound and c reacted with suppose okay uh, reacted in the presence of x to give a and p so what are a b c x so from this fruity smelling compound you directly get the notion that c is an ester and this is an esterification reaction so you can very well write c as ch3 coo c2h5 and a b as ch3 cooh and c2h5 oh and it said that c in the presence of x gave back a and b so basically this reaction is your saponification reaction and saponification reaction takes place in the presence of an acid or a base so x should be an acid or a base okay 
So this esterification reaction is very important. For us. Now, you know this ethanoic acid, as the name suggests, is an acid. So, there is one property of acid that an acid will react with a base to give salt and water. And this reaction is called neutralization reaction. So, ethanoic acid according to this should also react with a base to give a salt and water. So, let us see whether it does so. Suppose we make it react with NaOH. So, it should give salt and water because it is an acid. So, how will you make this? How will you uh, make this reaction proceed? Easy way is just take the hydrogen from here and write NaOH like OH Na and remove this H2O. So, you get your H2O and what remains just join them. So, you get a compound CH3COONA and this compound is called sodium ethanoate. And this is also a salt. This is your salt and this is your water. So basically, whenever you get reactions of this water coming out, you just try to take, suppose you have A and B reacting to give something in water. So just try to take out an H from A and an OH from B or an OH from A and an H from B and take out this water. This will make H2O and then the rest you just join together and this will make your other product. Suppose this is X, this the re remaining thing will make your X. Now in this reaction, you know, this could also have happened. CH3COO, COOH and NaOH like in the case of alcohol and acid, this could have given out the OH and this could have given out the H. And still it would form CH3COONA only. But this does not happen because this NaOH which is the base will always release Na plus and OH minus ions. So this will never take release H separately or H plus ions separately. Due to this OH minus ions only it is called a base. So it will never give out H plus ions. So the OH has to come from NaOH. Actually this acid, no, it's CH3 C O O H. This donates your H plus. And this becomes CHCCOO minus ion. And this ion is very, I mean, this ion is very stable. So, this breaking of the bond is very easy. You learn all that in higher classes. So, this this is the ion formed and this is the H plus ion. And due to this release of H plus ions, it is called an acid. So, this H plus ions and the OH minus ions coming from NaOH will form your water. 
and this CH3COO minus and Na plus will form sodium ethanol. This is actually an ionic compound. This is not covalent, which exists like CH3COO minus Na plus. You have you hardly have covalent compounds of sodium. Sodium forms electrovalent compounds mainly.